If you were to like find a good deal on one of these online, what would you be paying for this similar car? Didn't you just put this thing on the dyno a while back? What kind of number uh, is yeah. it? All right, so today we are out at the Pinnacles. This place is pretty freaking majestic. If you've ever seen it before, um, I've heard that it's a living orgasm or organism, not sure. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> and uh, we're here with longtime homie, Jeff McCarthy. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to talk about his bug. shell. I've had it for six years, I want to say, six years. Cut it apart a bunch of different times. Why were you cutting it apart? What did you, how have you improved it since uh, then? Just kind of went from mild to more extreme. Did you mess with the front end at all on it? Yeah, I've, I've cut the front end off. I cut the whole rear off, uh, rear off. It all kind of started with blown up transmissions. I had the 091 in it, blew two of those up. Now I have the Mendiola. Nice. That's so, that's the big part of these cars. Dual shear, and yeah. then what's what is the technical name for this front suspension? What is it's that? Beam setup. Beam setup. Yep. Okay. Beam setup. So this yeah. is traditional Volkswagen kind style. Of, yeah, exactly. So. Right, but in Volkswagen style, obviously they don't have the double shear, yeah. and you don't have what what are these shocks on uh, it? These are the uh, Fox. I run Fox on front and rear. Mm -hmm. What uh, size are they? Two O's? O's? Okay. And uh, two point fives in the rear uh, for, on the bypasses. So no bump stops are needed on an application like this? No. 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 I mean, a lot of people run the, uh, look, there's like a stopper inside of here. Mm -hmm. I never have. I don't know how that feels, but that would just be a piece of metal. Right. Hammering down. But I run Fodral arms, Fodral spindles, JMR brakes. I don't know, I love, I love all that setup. It's been very proven. Yeah, and so obviously BFG, these are the, the tires to run, I've understood, in these um, kinds of cars, yeah. Super lightweight. lightweight. Yeah, lightweight and uh, pretty durable. Very good, and then obviously method race wheels as well. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. As far as, uh, you know, obviously Volkswagens are air-cooled, so this is a what, what engine? In so I got the uh, Honda J35. A4 in it. Didn't you just put this thing on the dyno a while back? What kind of number uh, is it? Last week and I, it's putting out 277. 277 to the wheels? Yep. Nice. So that's like almost equivalent to running like an LS engine in one of these cars. If you were to run like a stock L53 truck motor you would be yeah. sitting at like 315 horsepower and this thing I've, to the wheels 277 you're probably about the exact same yeah I've never weighed it and I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of like 2500 pounds but yeah it does it perfect weight to uh, power ratio very good yeah oh. do you know obviously you haven't had enough scales but do you know what rear weight is on it in comparison to the front it's obviously uh, a huge I know difference my balance point is right here uh-huh whenever I have it on jack stands and I take front tires off, <laughs> it'll, it'll go. Right that's, there? Because that's, that's where you're putting your jack at? Yeah. So is it, is it still a bug panned underneath? Uh, I've got about four four feet right here. It's, it's obviously chopped up front okay. for uh, pedals and whatnot, but I uh, have partial pan in there. Everything's based off the tube chassis, but the uh, tunnel's still in there. Is there just because of DMV reasons, or is it just because the car? At, at first, yeah. At first, it was just trying to get it uh, registered, all that. And yeah. My next one, I'm gonna just do full tube chassis. Could've, right. Could have been out. So that's how Blake's car is done. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And his did the same transformation. Yep. Same processes, but a little bit more aggressive motor. Yeah. What would be some improvements that you would want to make to this car? Bigger trans. Bigger trans. Yeah. And you're saying something about the rear shocks on it? Or are they yeah, just a so little soft? I, I'm I'm trying to figure out all suspension stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know that's quite the uh, trip, but uh, valving it does good. It's just uh, I think spring rates off a little bit. I'll fix that, but 
front feels amazing. I just put this back window in this trip actually. Uh -huh. And I used to, you can see there's a cooler in there and tools, everything. But I'm going to make this to where it flips up. So that's one thing I want to. That'd be cool, a little shops. access point in it. Yeah. Nicer to get in this way than through the cab. What kind of suspension numbers are you getting out of it, travel wise? Uh, 20 in the rear and 14 and a half in the front. Now, what kind of uh, communication setup and everything that you have going on in here? Uh, I'm running the uh, PCI uh, headsets. Dang, those yeah. real carbon fiber, bro. <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. laughs> Super light. You got, the, so you got intercom. The, yeah. Then the uh, Kenwood one down there. It's a fair radio. <laughs> MPI uh, steering wheel. Love that. That was a good upgrade. PRP seats, love these things too. I got the seat heaters, keep them. Oh, seat the heaters nice even nice. Yeah, so you can kind of see I got the toolbox or full of tools, parts, whatever. Mm -hmm. Cooler, waters. Is that lights. a rear light bar up there as well? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's pretty slick how it's hidden back there. Oh, yeah, that's perfectly visible, but it's still kind of sleek. I like that. It, it was a lot better with the window out because it just kind of it was a lot brighter, but I don't know. I'll probably I want to make one up top. That kind of forms to the roof a little bit. Yeah. That'll be a, somewhere down the road. When you're out running and with the V6, do you what kind of fuel mileage, what kind of range do you have with the 26 gallon tank, or do you even pay much attention to that? I don't really pay too much attention. Yeah, figure as much. <laughs> Usually you go until you hear it yeah. sputter a little bit, or yeah. you have a fuel gauge as well. Yeah. Nice. Fuel gauge and uh, oil, oil temp, battery, and water temp. Just the essentials. Yep. It's not like you actually are going to stop normally if anything starts no, flashing at you or anything, just, but they're there to just go just <laughs> just in case So these lights are impressive. I actually had them in my rearview mirror last night <laughs> I'd like to get some more something up top that would be in the future as well. Nice, but take them off the bumper probably right I, I have it's, it's nice, but it's definitely nice at high speed Nighttime. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm myself. I'm a fan of a pillar lights. That's yeah. my that's my go to when yeah. I when I'm driving at night. I really like to have nice a pillar lights. So these are definitely money. What kind of budget would you have to have if you were to try and duplicate this kind of bug? Well, that's kind of where I screwed up. I've I've done it so many different times now, and that wastes a lot of money. I tell everyone if you're doing it, just do it the way you want it the first time. Right. If you were to like find a good deal on one of these online, what would you be paying for this similar car? 45-ish. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you buy a $35,000 UTV, the first thing you're going to do is spend another $5,000 on parts on it, or you can have something that you can go cruise around town in, yep. Yep. sealed cab, have conversations. You know, I they're comfortable compared to yeah, they're a lot, a lot more comfortable having a sealed cab vehicle. Yeah. This thing's rad, super cool. I'm definitely the kind of person that would way rather have something like this in my garage than uh, a lot of other toys. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just cut that in. Come at me, thanks, Aaron. Come at me, <laughs> thanks, dude. All right, perfect. Oh, my God.